Today we will learn how to create transparent PNG mockup template. This transparent PNG mockup can be used in Canva as overlays as well. There is a huge demand of Canva mockup template on Etsy website if you want to sell it. Now let's get started with the video. First we will select the quick selection tool, then create selection of the blanket. Subtract the extra areas, simply hold Alt key or Option in Mac and subtract it. Do the same thing. Zoom it and make the selection perfect. Select the layer. Now press Ctrl or Command J to duplicate it. Hide the main layer. Select the blanket layer. Go to the action if you cannot find it. Go to Windows and click on Actions. This action link is in description below. Select the shadow action and then play it. It's just the level slider to bring out the shadows of the image. More contrast the shadow and the highlights the better result is. Click continue. The red part means which is not selected and the white part means it is selected. We have to select the shadows and play with it. Let's hide the blanket layer. Here you can see the shadows. Choose the blanket layer. This time in action panel we will play highlights. Here everything is in opposite. The red part means which is selected and the white part means which is not selected. Now we have to select the highlights and play with it. Let me show you the highlights. It can be seen clearly. Let's see the shadows as well. Select the shadow layer and bring it to the bottom. Then play with the opacity. Select the highlights layer and play with the opacity again. Hold Ctrl or Command. Click on the blanket layer image. The selection will be enabled. Hide all the layers. Unlock the main layer. Simply delete it. You can deselect it. Turn on the shadows and the hiders layer. Save it as a PNG. Go to File, click on Export, choose Export As. Choose the PNG, then export it. Rename it and save it. Let's close it. Now let me show you how to use it in Photoshop. Simply open the PNG file that we just saved. I'm gonna try a pattern on it. Go to adjustment layer, click on pattern. Let's try it. Hit OK. Put this pattern layer to the bottom. You can see the result. Here is the before and after. Well, it's time to show you how to use it in Canva. Add any of your pattern and adjust it. Directly put your mockup at the top. Adjust it as well. That's it. Now let's try the same technique on a complicated picture. Let's get back to the video. So, I have the Tumblr image which fits the example. Choose the quick selection tool. Then select the layer image, create selection. Hold Alt or Option key to subtract the extra areas. Do the same thing with other Tumblr. Hold Alt or Option key to remove these extra areas.
Once the selection is done, let's unlock the main layer. Duplicate it, hide the main layer, select the Tumblr layer, then play the shadow again. The red part means which is not selected and the white part means it is selected. We have to select the shadows and play with it. Let's hide the Tumblr layer. You can clearly see the shadow. Hide the shadow layer to the Tumblr layer. This time, play the highlights. Again, here everything is in opposite. The red part means which is selected and the white part means which is not selected. Now we have to select the highlights and play with it. Here you can see the highlights. Turn on the shadow layer. Put it to the bottom. Hide the highlights layer. Adjust the opacity of the shadow layer. Choose the highlights layer and play with the opacity as well. Let me show you the shadows and highlights. Turn off all the layers. Hold Ctrl or Command. Click on the image of the tumbler. It will activate the selection. Select the main layer. Press Delete. Deselect it. Turn on the shadow and the highlights layer. At the end, I will add the curves layer. Simply click on Auto. That's it. Let's save it as a PNG. Go to File, click on Export, then choose Export As. Remember to select the PNG format. After that, save it. Now let me show you how to use it. Open the Tumblr that we just saved. Go and add the design. Adjust it according to a Tumblr size. Hit enter. Simply drag it down. Lock the main layer. Now you can move it easily. It's time to show you how to use it in Canva. Add the pattern first, then open your PNG mockup. This is how it looks like. If you learned something, kindly like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.